ඉතින් කොහොමද ඔයගලන්නේ ඉතින් පෞගි දෝස්ති කියේම අපි ගණන් හැදුවා සෑහෙන ගණන් හැදුවා මේ channel එකේ ඉතින් අදත් අලුත් ගාන ගීත තමයි හම්බෙන්නේ මොනවද මේ මේ ගණන් හැදිලා කියලා බලලා සමහරු ඉතින් මේක තමයි ෆින්ලන්ඩ් එන්ට්‍රන්ස් එක්සෑම් එකට සූදානම් වෙනවා අපි ලැබර් මාසේ නවැම්බර් 7 වෙනිදා තමයි තමයි එක්සෑම් එක ෂෙඩියුල් කරලා තියෙන්නේ ෆින්ලන්ඩ් වෙලාවෙන් මෙහෙ වෙලාවෙන් දවල් 12ට ඉතින් මම තියෙන ෆින්ලන්තේ තමයි ඉතින් මේ අද මේ කාලේ ඇත්තටම හිතලා අපිට ටිකක් හරි හරි එහෙමන ඉන්ජෝය් කරන්න ගන්න ඒ වගේ මේ channel එක ඇතුළත් ඕන තරම් මේ වගේ ගණන් හදලා තියෙන ගොත් බලන්න ඒ විතරක් නෙමෙයි මගේ දැන් මම හදපු ඉන්ටර්නෂනල් කෝස් එකක් තියෙනවා udemy.com එකේ මගේ නමින් සර්ච් කරොත් අරුණ සමර්තුන් කියලා ඔයාලට ඒ කෝස් එක පර්චේස් කරන්න පුළුවන් මම ඒක අවශ්‍ය නම් දාලා පෙන්නන්න නම් ඉස්සරහට තියෙන මේ වගේ තියෙන වීඩියෝස් වලදී මම මේකේ ලින්ක් එකක් දාලා බලන්න නම් උගලන්ට හරි මේ විතරක් නෙමෙයි classes වලට join කරන්න බලන්න මම මේ සම්බන්ධයෙන් class කරනවා ඉතින් class වලට කොහොමද join වෙන්න ඕනේ කියන එක description එකේ දාලා තියෙනවා බලන්න හරි යාළුවට යවන්න enjoy යාළුවට යවන්න මේ වීඩියෝ එක ඒකම enjoy කරන්න subscribe කරලා නැත්නම් subscribe කරලා තියාගන්න bell icon එක click කරලා තියාගන්න මොකද මට ඉඩ තියෙන වෙලාවට තමයි මොකද මම campus මේ දවස් වලදී ඒ සයිඩ තියෙන වෙලාවට තමයි මට අන්ටක් එකක් ගලා මේක අප්ලෝඩ් කරන්නේ හරි එහෙමන like එකක් දාන්න ඒක තමයි කරන්න ලොකු මුදව්ව like එකක් දාන්න අමතක කරන්න එපා මොකද අපි මේ වීඩියෝස් ඇත්තටම එහෙම කරන්න ලේසියෙන් කරනවා නෙමෙයි හරි record කරලා edit කරලා ඉතින් ටිකක් අමාරුවෙන් මේ වීඩියෝස් කරගෙන යන්න ඉතින් අපිට like එකක් දාන්න ඒක තමයි කරන්න ලොකු මුදව්ව හරි එහෙන අද හදන ගානේ enjoy කරන්න බොහොම ස්තුතියි Okay, here also uh, this is a mathematical skill part, general mathematics. So you will have this paper and uh, for this uh, this exam. So here also you have minus mark. So be careful about that. Okay, and uh, you will have ten uh, mathematical questions. These are very easy actually, not like this skill. And you have twenty five. We need to answer normally uh, for one uh, question two minutes like that. Okay. Let's go. Uh, this paper uh, you will going to get today after finishing this class. I will send you the PDF for this paper. So, okay, no, don't worry about taking it screen print or something. Don't do that. On just listen to me. Mm, the first question. This is a little bit hard one. Eh? Uh, the estimation regarding. Uh, the amount of water in the purse uh, okay. so uh, the at, uh, the estimation regarding the amount of water a person uh, should drink on a hot day is so the, they they have given some uh, some equation okay. need of hot water equal to this is the way of uh normally this is the way of uh, uh, uh describing the equations okay so don't worry about these notations okay if you come across this kind of notation this is the some uh, black black slash and max and if so this is the mathematical notation so don't worry about those things okay and they open uh, they open curly bracket like that and the, they close curly bracket like that so inside that one you have ma- mass mass mean weight and again c dot c dot and age okay then uh, then uh, here you have uh, double dot and 1000 here okay and again uh, after that curly bracket you also have mass dot age and the same thing okay So I'm going to explain uh, this one. So don't worry. The unit of the mass and age are kilogram and year. So unit of the mass, this one kilogram and this one year, respectively. And the result should be given in a liter. So result will come in a liter. Furthermore, if a person works during a hot day, okay, there's another information. Uh, the value should be. Uh, multiply by 1.1 so if if, if some uh, person work going, going to work hot day then the value is multiply you have to multiply by 0.5 one okay 1.1 okay now the question is here uh, jack jack that this person is 29 years old so it, so it's already given in years so no need to worry about the uh, what about the uh, this uh, the transactions okay So it already given in the years, old, and his weight is 81. So also given in the kilogram. So no need to convert the unit. Okay. He work hard in the hot day. Now you know that we have to multiply by one by one. 
okay. Which of the following is the nearest estimate? So we have to get the nearest estimate to the amount of drinking water is needed. So there are four four answers. So let's you have to know about this one. Okay, this is very important thing. So is someone can someone put yes in the chat? If you can hear me, ma wa heno nang yes se kada na chat te ki bolta kabe. Okay. Uh, this is the thing that you don't know in the Finland okay not only the Finland this is normally the mathematical things okay if you come across dot like this that means multiplication if we come across double dot like this that means division okay so this is the, the normal mathematical notations okay uh, but in the Finland education actually from the beginning of the education and early childhood the little child also using these things okay but uh, we use these things when we are in the campus actually okay uh, first first degree so and also you know uh, the 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 normal way of uh, the simple um, formula okay if it is like that fx equal 2x plus 1 this is a sample for the normal uh, uh normal formula okay so here if we put x here that x is going to appear here also the same thing happened here here okay you you know now this this is a function okay if function so this whole thing this whole thing like that so this uh, black shares and maths and f is the whole things like f okay and After this inside of this curly bracket this whole thing like that x this whole thing up to here up to here like this x and this one like this this x okay so this is the way of this, this is a normal way now this one actually we know okay this is a very simple and this is we know the, the, the same way they follow here also okay so that's why people don't understand this one uh, So uh, for explaining this, uh, if you have uh, this is another example, okay? If you four multiply by two, you know that it is eight, and uh, it can be written like that: four dot two equal eight. So this is the uh, normal mathematical way of representing this kind of uh, thing, okay? If uh, eight is divided by four, so the division mark you can say like that, or another way, you know that. Uh, If I draw like that, uh, yes, I can draw. Eight is so like that, no? So it is two. So this thing in in Finland, not only Finland is mathematical world. We are represented like this, double dot. Okay. So four multiplied by two is equal to eight. But this thing also, we normally in mathematical world. We are represented like that. Okay, so you have to remember these two. Okay, so another thing, um, as in Finland, they are uh, now you know in the world we know that this is three point two, but in Finland they are written this this one like comma comma. Okay. They are not using dot for this this kind of thing. Okay, so another another example. Now uh, you know if you have eighteen point eight like that. So in Finland, normally they are using comma for this one. So 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 that one also keep in mind because. Uh, not this international exam okay not this international exam but some separate university exams they are using kind of thing so people uh, some people are actually uh, not knowing about those things in finland so they uh, just confused about those questions so that's why i told you this thing early okay now let's go to the discussion okay 
So need of hot water, this is the uh, equation, need of hot water is equal to kind of this one. Okay, and this is also uh, during a hot day, so we have to multiply by 1.1. One, 1 .1, okay, so you know now dot is like that multiplication, and this double dot is division, it's like that. So we, I can put uh, remove this uh, here, this one, this one, and put multiplication mark and division mark because that is the way normally normal people know. Okay, international people know. Uh, Okay, now let's go to the question. So mass is 81 jack weights and age is 29 jack age. And let's uh, put these things to this uh, equation. So just you have to put mass here and multiplication by age and division by 2 and multiply by 1.1. Just do that one and get the answer. So answer will come in the lead also. Here it says like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now this answer is come later. So if you get the nearest estimation, it, it go to 2.6 liters. So 2.6 is there. So you are what you are learning is the notation only. Okay, the, the equation is easy, but the notations are the things that you are learning in this uh, in this uh, question. These are very important when you are doing the separate exam because uh, something sometimes lot of times these are appear in like that. Okay, in the separate exams. Let's go to the question number two. It's easy. It's, you have to identify the pattern here. 